Hello explorers, welcome back to Tai Pei. Today we're walking around a very popular neighbourhood called Sai Men. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll put the name on the screen. So this is a very noisy, busy part of the city. It's in New Tai Pei and at night time it comes alive. It's a shopping district, a nightlife district. So I've just come out of the MRT. It was very cheap, 25 Taiwanese dollar. I'm gonna do like a, a Metro MRT video soon and I'll go through how to get tickets and the passes and all of that good stuff. And what you will notice about Taipei is things don't really get start opening up until 11 a.m. Like this is a red hall or red house, I think it's called. It's got a market inside. Not open until 11. A lot of these shops that are around here I noticed don't open until 1. So yeah, it's a very slow start here in Taipei. As you can see, everything has got the shutters down. Closed. So in this type of temperature, you need to keep hydrated. I've got some Roselle, plum, mango and chilon tea. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, that's what I got from the uh, convenience store. So the plan of action for today is just to have a wander around the streets and capture it basically and try and keep in the shade as much as I can. I think that's the goal for sure. Something that I have noticed is that there's so much more graffiti here in Taipei than other Asian cities. You don't really get to see like graffiti that often this part of the world. There are plenty of shaded places and there's a few food places open here for breakfast which is good. And I'm loving these little side streets. Let's get a closer look up to this area here. Fascinating side street. It's really hard to film when it's shade and light, especially when it's so sunny. But hopefully you can see this at the area that I'm walking through. So this is all residential area, typical Taipei entrances to the apartments. I'm assuming this is where they keep all the refuse, I'm not too sure. Not too sure. Yeah, it's a really hard area to film <laughs> because of the different lights and stuff. But I hope it gives you an idea. Oh, got to watch cars as well. But yeah, very interesting little detour. Let's continue on with our walk. Breakfast place, oh, just over the road there. I've had my breakfast already though. So yes, I do think I did the right thing coming to explore here today. Because lots of shaded areas to keep cool. As a foreigner, you do get looked at quite a lot in Taipei. And I don't mind it. Some people it would bother them, but for me, it doesn't matter. I think people are just generally inquisitive. Sometimes people will stop and say hello 
in like broken English but generally people are very friendly and it's advisable to only cross the road when it's green because the traffic here can get a little bit crazy there's definitely a, a vibe around like Hong Kong style architecture with the accommodation as you can see here So these are the bus stops here, We've got, they're all digital ones, of course not in English but you can get by, Google Translate is your best friend. Right now I am desperate for the toilet and for a drink, so we're going to go on a bit of a detour. Another tip, whilst you're waiting for the lights to go green, stand in the shade don't stand in the sun so an update i've been to the toilet now i'm gonna get a drink at this family mart over here and we're gonna continue exploring <sighs> one thing that i've noticed is that there's very few bins out so you have to take your things back home to recycle so nice to get some shade again i know i keep going on about the sun but it's not the temperature it's just the sun it beats down on you there's not a cloud in the sky as you can see so right now we're entering the historic quarter of taipei so to my right here these are all like the old uh, chinese shop houses um i think this used to be a temple area there's a big sign on the side of this building let's go and have a look let's be educated i can't pronounce this but i put it on the screen this is like a, an old street here in taipei so it's obviously all being renovated and it's now a, an open museum and some shops like art shops really interesting architecture see so yeah, lots of little galleries and little museums as you're walking down it's all free as well random Darren exploring I, I have no idea where I'm going I'm just going where my feet take me not sure I'm going to get the best shot of the building here because of the sun but yeah it's a really interesting architecture I think one of the things that I love about Taipei the most is just the quirkiness, the stuff that you can see, the stuff you can smell and hear. And that wind is picking up now. So we're going to head to quite a big temple just up here and also walk around the street because it's fascinating as I just said. So over here is the park and the plan is to go walk around the temple, walk around the little streets, get some food and then go to the park and chill. So this beautiful temple was built in 1738 or at least started being built in 1738 and there's a special feature of this temple and this is a particular highlight of this temple these waterfalls right slap bang in the middle of the city the sun is in this direction so I'm hoping you can see it okay
you can see the koi calf floating around here beautiful beautiful so yes this is a particular highlight of this temple these waterfalls coming down from the rocks here right in the center of Taipei and this is the entrance to the temple really impressive All the steam that you saw then was, well actually it wasn't steam, it was to cool you down, like a wet spray. So this over here is called the Middle Hall. See people praying there. I don't know if you can because it's quite shaded. Beautiful temple, probably one of my favourites that I've seen. Let's just scroll up and look at this architecture here. Wow. Beautiful clock tower there. And then the temple. Yeah, beautiful. Glad that I came here. Been here before, but glad that I came back. Whew. Midday heat is here well i have found a shady spot and i got myself this no idea what it is looks some kind of ice cream oh yeah this says there uh, milk monica yeah milk ice cream i think it's cold and that's what i need the layer on top is a bit weird texture, but like a wafer. Mm. Oh, I think I can have a little walk around here and then find a coffee shop to do some work in. This is my view right now. Hiding in the shade well explorers i was going to continue exploring but it's way too hot i'm going to go and find a coffee shop cool off do some work and uh, chill out that's what i'm going to do so i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please do give it a thumbs up if you get any questions about type here anything that you want me to go and check out Please let me know down in the comments. See you all soon.